Hey, Virtual Careers family, this is another banging job. I know you guys are shocked to see my face. I know it. I did it. You guys have asked. You guys have given me compliment after compliment of that last live. So I wanted to make sure that I did the right thing by you guys. You guys are family. You asked to see my face and I promised you that I was going to give you just that. Okay, so let's get into this job link because they're saying that you guys can make right at about like, 20 to 30 dollars with profit factory so let's get into this job lead right so profit factory is a company that generally is kind of more or less like a staffing company except they've done it in more of a less like a retro vibe to it okay so what happens is you get to see ideally what each and every job is that you're looking at rather than them kind of just assigning you a job that they feel is maybe identical for you or based upon your experience let me let me show you okay So with this particular positions, keep in mind, you need to be in the United States and you need to be in Canada, but each job preference has kind of their own needs that they need you for. So some jobs you're going to see are going to say, well, hey, we only need you for 40 hours. The others are going to say, hey, I only need you for 30, uh, so forth and so on. So let's take a look at the first one, right? So the first one is by Sage, uh, uh, Sage. I'm going to say Sage, uh, Intervent Event Management Company, right? So literally, you'd be actually helping them do plan events, handling emails. Their hours uh, of operation are going to be from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They want you to have some bookkeeping experience, social media experiencing, planning travel, uh, or travel planning experience, excuse me, twister there. And they're paying an al- uh, annual salary of right at $50,000, and that does include your insurance. Whereas and as the next particular position is only saying that they need you for 10 to 20 hours uh, for the week, you would actually be a 1099 employee. So let's get my sensor here. So this one, you'd actually be a, oop, 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 oop. you'd actually be a 1099 employee. And this one, you'd only be making uh, $21 per hour. So let's get to the next one right quick too, right? So let's go. And the next one, is actually going to be where you would actually be also uh, a 1099 employee. If I could just get this sensor together here, y'all. And here you'd actually be making, wow, I got to start from the back here. There you go. I'd actually be making $24 uh, per hour on that one, right? So these particular positions um, are kind of just based upon what you need them to be. Not more or less like, hey, here I am. You figure out where I go. These particular positions are saying, well, hey, based upon these jobs, you can apply the way that you want to. So let's talk about the application process for them, right? So here they're showing you for this particular position. Let's stroll back up for here. Uh, this one is actually $25 per hour, and this is a 1099 position. They're open Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that is depending upon the time zone, okay? Now, remember, my work from home tip is that is if you see that a company is posting something in Eastern Standard Time, you always want to make sure that you convert yourselves or convert how you do things to that time because that's the time that they're preferring. Right. So here it goes. It says email job at profitfactory.com. It says do not di- contact that location directly. That is going to disqualify you from the position in the subject line. You're going to write your name and your last name. You're going to insert your city and your state and that's just to make sure that you qualify it does say that I'm interested in the sales connection position and then it says you're going to write 15 sentence email including all of this information so hi there I am blank from blank and blank Um, the reasons why you think this job is a good fit for you tell us about your experience managing projects tell us what you've experienced with G Suite's calendar management um, if you are are currently working Um, and then it says a closing salutation including your name and address So guys, I'm going to be honest, what they probably do uh, is they read those emails and then the emails that they feel are uh, worthy 
are qualified, they actually send those to the clients and then the clients will say, hey, I want to meet with X, Y, and Z. Okay, so these are resumes or these are questions that you want to make sure that you're giving your complete all. Now, when they're paying you $25 an hour, you need to give them $25 an hour worth of experience. So you need to use your tools like Grammarly or WordTune in order to make sure that you're writing something that is going to be uh you know, a representation of who you are in a professional setting, okay? You don't want to say, well, hey, my name is Susie. I go to, you know, Van Hever High, um, and this is what I do. You want to definitely make sure that you're using your professional tones. And again, the bottom says you want to attach a good resume uh, as well, okay? So let's go down to the next particular position, uh, as well and we're gonna go ahead and stroll down I hope that y'all did not hear my phone just go off on my MacBook y'all I really hope y'all didn't hear that um, so here is another one they want you to have a strong writing skills guys just remember that when you're looking at them and just make sure that you kind of checking your boxes off when they give certain positions for these because they're very adamant about some some of the particular positions here here they're looking for someone that they're gonna bring in for three or plus years so they are willing to do W-2 benefits, PTO, that sort of stuff, which is really, really good because a lot of VAs um, generally are just like independent contractors, right? So again, here, they have those questions again for you here. How would you man manage Mindy's weekly activities and grow to become her right-hand person? Those are questions that do take a little bit of thought and consideration. So you definitely want to uh, consider those as well. And they go on and on and on and on. I just ignored her and I don't know why she just called me back, y'all. Um, and, um, and so this particular position is for $22 an hour. This one is for, let's see here, $28 an hour. Uh, this one is 21 This one... Let's see here's 25. This one is 20. This one is 20 um, and 25. And the requirements, guys, they go from basic to very complex, uh, which kind of tells you that each of these companies have kind of sat down and said, these are the things that we need a VA for right um and so again you must be in the united states or canada again guys these are considered to be different positions all the way through so this is one position this is another this is another there's one that i read that they actually were kind of looking for two people um so profit factory is one of those companies that you kind of always want to have in your tool of arsenal um if you're a va if your niche is va or kind of being an assistant to somebody profit factory is kind of where you're going to be at they they get clientele all the time and their clientele are not paying $10 an hour, $15 an hour. I generally have never seen a job on Profit Factory that has been under $15 an hour. Okay. Um, so let's be honest. Um, so again, some of the rec uh, the prerequisites or even just the application process is a little bit different for each and every job. This one, they want your LinkedIn profile. Um, one I kind of read a couple months ago, they wanted you to do a video interview and share the link with them, that sort of stuff. So again, Profit Factory is going to be where you're going to get a good, 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 a really good high paying virtual assistant position. So I'm going to list as saying that you're going to be in the upper echelon of maybe right at about that 20 to 30 dollars per hour uh, for a VA and that is really good I'm sorry my international folks here you got to be either in the United States and Canada guys in New York California they have not made any prerequisites as far as you can't live in any of those states they uh, the amount of money that they're paying uh, qualifies them to be able to pay people that are in California. Um, and to be on the honest side, when you see companies that are coming out the door with making $25 an hour, nine times out of the 10, they are based in California. There's not, I can't think of one company here in the United States, or excuse me, uh, let me bring it back home to South Carolina. I can't think of one company in South Carolina that would pay their virtual assistant $20 an hour here in South Carolina. Does that mean I need to move? 
uh, cost of living, economics. I don't want to get into all that jazz, but uh, if you're in California, most of the time you guys are probably making that over 15, 16, 17, 20, 25 dollars an hour. And that's just because the cost of living there is just so high um, that the government has or the state has regulated that you guys need to make a certain amount of money. Uh, here in South Carolina, the state requirement is 725 still. Yeah. Alrighty. So this has been another video from Virtual Careers. If you need anything at all, you guys can always meet me over in the Facebook group. We are always there hanging out, talking to each other. Um, and again, if you guys get hired, I definitely want to start this like work from home hall of fame or work. I can't think of a good name. I'm thinking about that. Um, but uh, I definitely want to celebrate when you celebrate because I love it when you guys win. It's another video. Love, like, and subscribe. Subs you know what? I'm going to work on that. Bye, y'all.